patients. We are going to start the briefing uh, while our esteemed guests take their seats. I'm going to introduce them to you. We are going to talk about the Donetsk National University, specifically about the presentation of project, uh, European um, project of development of this university. The speakers include Alexei Rabshin, MP from Batkivshina Party, Chairman of the Supervisory Board of the project, Alexei Poroshenko, MP from Petro Poroshenko Blanc, a member of the Supervisory Board of the project, Gennady Chizhiko, President of the Chamber of Commerce of Ukraine, uh, Eugen Bestrisky, Executive Director of the International Renaissance uh, Foundation, Yaroslav Chakov, Member of the Academic Council of Donetsk National University and Coordinator of the Department of the Project. First, uh, I'm going to give the floor to Evgen Bestrisky for him to tell why the Renaissance uh, Foundation is going to support this project. A few words about the project. Thank you very much for the invitation extended to me. First of all, the Renaissance Foundation for the second year now has been supporting the volunteers. Today, we provide the support to volunteers for them in their turn to help the IDPs or our citizens who have been forced to leave the territories occupied by terrorists. And in this context, uh, during the latest visit of Mr. Soros to Ukraine, actually that was his idea. Uh, perhaps uh, which was born together with our colleagues from the Institute of the um, uh, Open Society and Open Society Foundations and actually provide the funds and he said you have the funds to help uh, the IDPs why won't you also um, uh, assist or provide assistance to the uh, Donetsk the, the um, National University which moved to Vilnius uh, actually we support the idea by our foundation, actually, that was a very good idea. Why? First of all, well, it's absolutely obvious to us that while assisting the development of university, not, not just moving this university, when it's about development in the context of um, of those who moved to Vinitsa so for the year, to give the world, um, actually, the um, opportunity to acquire some uh, European standards. You know, when somebody moves to another place, it's like an overhaul or the major repair. We can provide the European repair, so to say, with the university. In other words, to um, bring closer to the European standards and Bologna, uh, Bologna process standards. It was very interesting from this point of view to provide our support. And also, we believe that the university, which is going to be to find its development in Vinnytsia, and in this context and regional context, which is going to establish contacts. I'm talking about the students and professors. Um, their contacts with our universities of Ukraine. We also are going to extend our support to the student and professors' mobility in their contacts with the Western uh, Western European. Uh, universities, we already have some requests to provide some assistance or develop their contacts with at least the European, Western European universities, which later on, and we believe that the time will come uh, when the territories of the, the eastern parts of Ukraine, this specific case, the next uh, region will be liberated. In the ex experience which is going to be accumulated, we would say, you know, it's very difficult to say now whether they will have this branch of this university uh, stationed in Vinnytsia, so they are going to be removed or returned to uh, Donetsk, but this kind of re reintegration will allow this university to acquire the uh, European standards of higher education. Upon the approval of the law on higher education, the implementation of the standards fixing that law at least requires certain work to be done. And we believe that the Daniels University will be able to do that and the uh, amount of money which we propose this year is not that big, $350,000 by to the, end, to the end of this year. And we believe that this project uh, uh, we'll make progress and we are going to have very, very um, uh, big
big and uh, let's say respect to um, supervisory board, then we believe that other European donors will provide their assistance because we are talking not just about some private or local university. We are talking about the university which can give the impetus, uh, another impetus to the development of higher education in Ukraine. I believe Alexei and um, other of my colleagues will further um, develop this idea. And when we uh, talking about the, the paying attention to the students who found themselves in exile in Minutes or some other parts of Ukraine, will again give another impetus to them to think about their future. So those were the ideas which uh, actually uh, allowed us to provide support. And now I'm going to give the floor to uh, Alexei Rapchin. As chairman of the supervisor board, uh, my name is Alexei Rapshin, MP from Batkovshina. Also, I'm, uh, I'm one of the uh, chair in the, um, I'm still acting teacher and professor in the Vinitz, uh, branch of Donetsk University. I, you know, they, I was working last week with one of my students. Well, this is a great honor to be a chairman of the supervisor board of this project as a man who has studied both in Ukraine and beyond its boundaries after coming back to Ukraine. Uh, I very much wish to apply my knowledge uh, and use the new rules and regulations. Unfortunately, the war stage or wage now in the Donetsk area and, uh, ruined my plans, but I believe in a new quality, new, let's say, position, I will uh, have a chance to use my knowledge. Unfortunately, I lost, uh, I hope, temporarily and not for long. Um, the, I'm talking about the opportunity to assist my uh, native region, Kevka, in the Donetsk region. And this uh, university is kind of opportunity to me to realize my ideas and uh, myself as a teacher and believe not only the Donetsk or other universities which were moved to the western or central parts of Ukraine to, to give them impetus to further develop. The task of our board in addition to supervisor or controlling function on the popularization of this project or uh, let's say education whatever and uh, not only using this grant we plan to create a zone of conflict for this specific university we also try to take them out of this comfortable zone the comfort zone and on fr last Friday we had a meeting of our board. I'm going to generalize some of the uh, things we agreed upon. I believe uh, my colleagues will say more about the assistance given to the university, what it includes in addition to um, the purchase of computers and implementation of mobility project. And speaking about mobility, we paid attention to both students' mobility and professors' mobility. We really wish the students to have the opportunity to, to travel not only all around the Ukraine because the university does have that luxury now, but also maybe to partially or to completely provide the best of the best of students, the cream of the students who are going to maybe not so much to work kind of you know, education course, but to part, take part in some, let's say, exhibitions or contents and competitions. I know the next university will always boast that they were good students in, in chemistry and uh, physics, etc. Number two, well, it's not very much developed in Ukraine as compared to the Western universities. The students are uh, self-governance. Uh, I believe they, 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 those specific students have a uh, face the opportunity to start everything from the scratch and take the reins in their hands. In this, um, in this respect, our professors are real parliamentarians and they are prepared to give their uh, kind of governments to in the to the hands of uh, in the hands of students so we actually requested the management of our projects uh, our projects to select the best students who can study this experience and this sort trend or direction of our activities and this is again perhaps the problem of post-soviet education is the low level of quality of the students or let's say academic uh, papers and would like to pay special attention to that so that the western professors uh, experts and maybe the best of the ukrainian experts could come to the university and to demonstrate the best uh, standards of quality regarding the intellectual pro property copyright etc etc and here we provide or channel certain funds to this end as well and actually this is going to be a very good signal to those 
and will be students who remain in the occupied territories to show that these um, higher education institutions are going to flourish and they have the support of both the national support and the grant support. I believe this would be the signal which will attract other grant, uh, grant uh, a grants and donors and were some delegations who visited, which visited the University of the United States, Germany and other countries. We believe this is just the beginning of that and this project will uh, further develop and then, I don't know when, maybe tomorrow, day after tomorrow, in a year from now, five years from now, the university will uh, come back to its uh, native parts and we are going to take care of reintegration of the university. I would like to call upon all the rectors of the uh, universities to uh, unite in certain association of the relocated universities. I believe my colleagues in the parliament in this project will join me in that and will provide all the necessary assistance which is badly required by the university. Thank you, Alexey Poroshenko, you have the floor. Good afternoon, Alexey Parashenka, I am um, the member of parliament from Vinnytsia constituency. I am very proud that I can join the project. First of all, uh, we having um, the experience uh, of uh, training both in Ukraine and abroad, and I can compare both systems. I always have wanted to make some steps so that we can uh, take our national system of education at absolutely new quality level. And I am absolutely sure that this is the project which will allow us to do so. Secondly, uh, the fact that Donetsk National University is now in Vinnytsia is uh, an important um, uh, moment. Uh, on the one hand, uh, everyone will uh, get synergy from that. On the one hand, uh, Vinnytsia city, it has always been very European. All uh, changes uh, in governance, in administration, in cooperation with other European cities and European Union have always been uh, the priority for the city. On the other hand, this is uh, a student uh, uh, city because there are many universities there. And the fact that uh, Donetsk National University will be there, and this will become a very serious platform because it's one of the best universities in the world. Uh, now the students from Vinnytsia will be able to enter it and it will create competition in the uh, educational sector and it will take the education in Vinnytsia at a new quality level. On the other hand, this is the project which for Ukraine will be symbolic. Thanks to Renaissance Foundation, thanks to, I hope, the actions of local administration, thanks to our efforts as uh, our supervisory board uh, level will help us not just to uh, catch up with European standards, but it will help us develop something new, something of our own, starting from procurement of new modern equipment so that we can teach students, uh, so that we can organize distance learning using the best uh, practices, uh, global best practices. I'm sure that the links that the supervisory board has with foreign professors, with foreign universities. I have, Alexei has a, a big experience of communicating to different universities abroad and professors abroad will be able to establish direct contacts. And this will lead to more mm, bigger mobility of students and uh, professors. And what is most important is that the students will get access to the pool of uh, global knowledge. And so I really uh, appreciate this opportunity to participate in this project and will be uh, putting all our efforts and knowledge uh, 
into improving the system of education in general. And we will start from Donetsk National University, which is in uh, Vinnytsia. Gennady Chizikov, President of the Chamber of Commerce of Ukraine. For me, it's a, also an honor to be a member of the board. And the um, Chamber of Commerce uh, represents the interests of almost 10,000 representatives of business cannot be um, aside from what's happening in the economic sphere in the ATO zone and it is important uh, for us to uh, develop the future of the country. This related to educational process and when I got the proposal to become member of the board I uh, thought that I can add some, we can add some practical things uh, and uh, we can expect that uh, the business uh, will also uh, be able to help. <laughs> I want to say that uh, we now are in uh, living in very interesting times when everyone may have uh, some equal ground for startup. That is called crisis and reforms, and that is important for education as well. Like in Bible, the one who was the last can become the first. And that is time which is so interesting for our higher education. We all studied or worked in different uh, universities. We were the students or professors. And we saw that in a small town where there are 15 or 5 universities, they compete between themselves. They uh, set a very high... Uh, um, level why do we why should we compete with each other we need to be leaders and the fact that this project is called european development means that this university national university which is now in very difficult situation it has the opportunity to become uh, like uh, the leading the leading one let us dream about that uh, it has a chance and uh, uh, this team of people who are in the board, <clears throat> they will not be just saying, let's do it better than the Vinitsa University. Let's do something different, which will help us inspire other universities and in general will change the attitude to education. But everyone will understand. This university wanted, this university tried, but that is not a simple thing. To do that means the efforts of uh, everyone. It's not like overnight it will become different. This is a very serious process and it is very important that the uh, Renaissance, uh, the fact that Renaissance Foundation is helping is uh, important. We can compare that with the economy. When the IMF is helping the economy, that is a signal to all the investors, that is a serious project, everyone believes it. But when such serious organization uh, puts uh, its vision uh, into it, uh, that is an important signal for investors, donors, sponsors, uh, uh, for Ukrainian business. We need to understand that abroad, most of the famous uh, serious universities, they are all built on the principle of getting donor support, businesses supporting them. And we are creating a new tradition, informal credit tradition, when the alumni get together, they say something good, but here we need real assistance. And then maybe we will see that the libraries will be named after the donors who contributed not just into the development of business, but who supported the development of the future of the country. And we wanted to emphasize that the, the fact that Renaissance Foundation is, have, is supporting, it's important for all other co-organizers. And third thing which is of importance for me, how this process is being implemented. There are some traditions, um, and uh, uh, these are traditions, um, uh, and here, to implement new things which are uh, connected to cloud technologies, to mobility, that requires 
finding uh, managerial solutions in here. The supervisory board and the experts will help to launch this process uh, to implement a new project so that uh, the body of the university, the traditions of the university live in parallel with that and then the result, the positions of this university will be strengthened and it will show that that's, uh, uh, this new project, uh, who knows, I'm sure that this is the future of the university and the university, the Donetsk University, will start the fashion in such an important thing as education. From the point of view of business, from the point of view of Chamber of Commerce, we see some challenge here, it's of interest for us, and uh, we lack uh, some uh, ideas and notions. Many people talk about uh, the um, traditions, and that is uh, the um, uh, project which will help us create the future for our country. I give the floor to Yaroslav Archikov, who is a member of the Academic Council of Donetsk University, and actually used to be, well, actually he is one of those people who participated in the evacuation, I may put it this way, of Dansk University of Vinica. Thank you. I'm also director of the, uh, let's say, uh, IT director of the university. First of all, I would like to thank, on behalf of all the university, the International Reconnaissance Foundation, also all those who participated directly in the initiation of this project. I'm positive that we, the project uh, management of the university, will demonstrate to our donors how actively we can use the opportunities given to us. And I do believe uh, that in the home that this will become a very good signal to all those who will uh, be interested in the Donetsk University. I'm talking about both, both the donors and the direct investors. And I'm sure that the university will now uh, already has something to offer to the investors. The university is not only, let's say, a party uh, requesting some assistance, but uh, already today generate some specific business, specific uh, business proposals to the potential investors. And, and that's why it seems to me that the launch of this project will uh, speed up or accelerate those initiatives. And now, as an IT, the IT director and the person who participated directly in the way of creation of IT services of this university, and speaking in principle, this is one of the most important components of the success of that evacu evacuation, so to say. I would like to say that we um, rewrote a lot of attention over the last three years, perhaps, uh, to the innovations you know, in the IT sphere. And uh, without uh, being too modest, I can say that the, this university is a leader in this sphere of the so-called cloud technologies. Our university is very much cloud-orientated, and this actually ensured the success of our education of our data with those uh, services of the academic developments and whatever was um, uh, kept and stored, I mean, in our service in Donetsk. Despite the fact that our university is cloud-oriented, oriented, it does mean that it doesn't need a material base. Uh, specifically, in this reconnaissance project, we have some kind of uh, the free sources uh, which can be channeled to IT uh, development in which for which I am uh, directly responsible in our project so that it can chop with uh, the level we had in Donetsk with rethinking and taking into consideration, I mean, the new experience and uh, it will become even more efficient uh, to our students, faculty and the researchers. I also would like to draw attention to the fact that 90 9% of the material base of the university remained in Donetsk, despite what I mentioned already, that we succeeded in, in uh, not copying, but just carrying here the data. That means that the 
bulk of those data did not remain in the territories we, we should find our, ourselves yet. I also would like to draw attention to the fact that almost all the high-skilled or top-notch experts, in particular in the IT sphere, they today uh, are in Vilnius. So the potential is, is intellectual potential is rather big, serious. You understand, ma'am, that there are only a few people who would like to to be staged or stay in Donetsk, where there are no possibilities for progress. And I'm happy to realize that almost all my team uh, turned to be the real patriots of Ukraine, which also helps us to work. Maxim, uh, you, you know, uh, before we go to Q&A uh, uh, session, I would like to thank the director of the university, Mr. Grunyuk. I believe that under the leadership of this person, the university will be able not only to survive in this very uh, difficult uh, period, but also to develop. To thank Mr. Kipian, uh, who is the uh, partner of the uh, Reconnaissance um, Foundation, uh, representing the uh, university. And also, I would like, on my own behalf, to thank the city of Vinnytsia, so not only that they agreed to uh, provide the allocation for the Donetsk National University, but also helps this university further develop. Also, I would like to give the list of those members of the super, supervisor boards, which uh, comprise both the representatives of the politi politics and business, and the, the, also intellectuals who are, uh, are you know, well known not only in your university and all over Ukraine, in addition to myself, Mr. Alexey Poroshenko and um, uh, Ms. Chizhika, we have Mr. Teresuk, Deputy Chairman, of the Minister Administration, Department of uh, Science, and um, uh, also the former professor of Donetsk National University and the um, uh, University now, Alen um, Stashkin, Doctor of History, uh, writer Yerema Bachinsky, member of the board of the Grugonsis Foundation Ukraine, and Alina Premnichenka. Uh, legal officer of the Media Prava Institute and um, one of the professors of the Donetsk University. They, all of them are going to take part in the development of this project and they control and supervision. I believe that if you have any questions, it would be our pleasure to answer those. So, SM journalists, do you have any questions to our speakers? You're welcome. Aksan uh, Ukraine Crisis Media Center. Perhaps these uh, questions are addressed to the university representative. The sum of money which is going to be allocated by the Consus Foundation, it will be sufficient for some time, or maybe you're, um, you, you, you envisage some other donors to take part in that. Maybe you, you rely upon the assistance to be given by Ukrainian business. You know, I can uh, very specifically talk about the part which I'm responsible for. But maybe on the whole, I can answer the question as well. Uh, naturally, as our colleagues mentioned before, uh, this sum of money um, provided uh, by the Reconnaissance Foundation doesn't seem to be too big. We, as usual, we need much more, as we say. But this is not the most important thing. The most important thing that this scope of financing uh, in the launch of this project that was a very powerful signal to other investors and donors. Uh, well, in, well we, it seems to us that this is a guarantee that uh, the university today, uh, well, the university exile still uh, exists and uh, it exists well. And we have proved a lot even by 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 today. We we work. We uh, the students really wish to join us and what is most important the intellectual potentiality is still there and you know, they, they didn't vanish into a thin air you know as for the specific trend i'm responsible for this sum of money will be enough uh, for our students for a well, first of all to get obtain a real efficient powerful, powerful opportunity to study the most modern IT specialities and we actually put a special emphasis 
that uh, this opportunity not necessarily require them to stay in Vinnytsia. So as you understand that uh, part of the students from a number of different reasons cannot stay uh, permanently in Vinnytsia. So, so of course this all makes provision for some kind of, of scaling, but we do hope this will become the reality. Uh, first of all, it's very pleasant to hear about the intellectual potential. I mean, the majority of the professors and the resources moved uh, from the occupied territory to units, and this actually is, uh, this just the fact the fact that this is most uh, most advanced uh, scholars and scientists are democratically tuned towards the European standards. I mean. Speaking about the um, the amount of money and the um, potentiality of uh, potential assistance to be provided by other donors, what we rely upon. The, first of all, we are talking about launching the project in the six months before the end of the year, and we'll see, together with the other members of the supervisory boards, how success will, will work, work within this project. Number two, we already had a call from the French Embassy, uh, and had uh, a meeting already with the respective attaché, who said that they would invite, as they said, the representatives of university in France uh, to meet with the universities of the um, Paris district, I would say, in order to, uh, to, to consider and to discuss the, the uh, chances of our cooperation, which is a good sign. Also, the Bush University called us, and they said that next year they would like to raise again the question or the issue of their potential um, assistance to be given to the Donetsk University. And besides, uh, there is a component of the students' and professors' mobility. Today, actually this morning, I, I, I received a letter, or a letter from the director of the Central European University, which stationed in Budapest, perhaps many of you know, or might be where the uh, students of that university, they're expecting the uh, delegation from this university, and some members of the um, supervisory board will be included in, in this delegation. And they will discuss the issue of cooperation. In Ukraine, we believe that the most advanced Ukrainian universities will prepare to um, delegate their uh, professors to, to, to lecture, deliver lectures and events, and vice versa. You know. So, this is just we are at the beginning of the road. Only a few weeks have passed since the time when we started this project, but we already have some proposals. And we do hope that this will be the case in the future as well. The more so that Ukraine doesn't face any other way to develop the higher education, but further develop its context and connections with... Uh, so I can mention that uh, taking into account the opportunity which are opened up by the law on higher education, talking about financing, about grants, your university can take a unique niche in Ukraine and by its practices uh, uh, share uh, with other universities. So uh, the crisis is an opportunity. I would like to add that you have just uh, 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 mentioned our secret, which is no longer a secret. Can you talk about some individual grants for the talented students? The amount uh, of 350,000, will this be used for some large-scale projects or will it be used to support some talented students? And that was the request of the board, of all the members of the board, to support the most talented students and the winners of the national competitions, if they are invited to participate in some international European competitions, then there will be no problem to support some students. Of course, $350,000, that is quite a limited sum, but uh, the best of the best will get an opportunity when there's no opportunity to pay for travel expenses for students. Uh, there are many bureaucratic uh, 
and problems resolution 65 which does not allow the budgetary organizations to spend their own money for furniture computers and for the universities which moved from occupied territories well they have money on their accounts but according to the procedure they cannot spend this money to buy furniture computers and the state seeing that the bus private business the donors are helping i believe that the role of the state is of importance there's the same problem with the and the system of uh, passing the borders uh, when the students cannot uh, go um, to take exams and also the market uh, reacted uh, to this university that moved now the uh, price for apartment is just like in Kiev. There's a problem with the hostel and they again to take the students uh, to take the best brains which are on the occupied territory who are influenced by propaganda. We need to take them here and we need to find accommodation for them and they don't have money to pay for their own accommodation. So I believe that the efforts of the state, of the business of international partners will help. Thank you. Uh, Slava. I am uh, have a question. Can we now hear from you a message for people who want to study in your university but who cannot because of some reasons, who cannot leave that region? Uh, can they uh, study uh, via distance learning? If yes, then we need to inform people. I want to say that the students who have the desire to study at the university, they have to uh, contact the university. We are all in a very co difficult situation, including the colleagues who are in Vinitsa already. The university is trying to find solution uh, for uh, every student individually. And this is not exactly the question to me, but I saw how the rector, the vice rectors participated in resolving such problems. The elements of distance learning are used. A year ago, you understand that the summer session we had to finish in a somewhat hybrid mode. So we've got some experience, we've got some good experience, uh, and we just uh, adapt to that good experience. And uh, the um, applicants uh, uh, can count that the university will find uh, the um, way out. Uh, this is uh, the last but uh, not the least question. Can we say that this uh, university with uh, such support is a pilot project and uh, uh, that is a good example for the future? Maybe other universities can apply and you will be providing support to them. Mm. Look at our programs, priorities, and apply. Basically, now a lot of money is um, uh, spent to assist uh, the IDPs. That's first. Our program is different uh, from the programs which are suggested, uh, offered by European Union. Reprofessionalization of those people who go to other regions. We are providing the opportunity for them to get professions which are useful for this region. The money goes also to support those uh, famous, uh, very professional experts, independent experts of Ukraine who held the ministries uh, and the National uh, Council. And uh, this is very serious work. And here I would like to notify that uh, when we hear, let's say, dissatisfaction, whether that the reformers do not make any progress, the, reform, the reforms really have to be 
prepared in advance for them to make progress. Maybe this is associated with not very successful administration from the top, but they do require some preparatory stage. What, what we would like, perhaps, to support in the Lixi and other colleagues in um, the supervisory board maybe will support me in that, and they, they already are supporting that. You know. What I'm talking about, th this so far we are talking about the brainstorming. It's a general idea to support the association of students uh, in exile who come from the eastern parts of Ukraine because we believe that uh, we'll live up to the date of reintegration. For that, we need intellectual personnel and we understand that they um, uh, the, 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 the rem uh, remain just a few of those, and they are support, they are um, kind of could be very interesting project as well. Thank you very much for your presentation. We'll be looking forward to the next information about the implementation of this project. To the, today, we already we complete our.